coffin. What the hell? Meanwhile... Way mad. Well, you guys, now it's time for our next match. As the Mind Machine will take on Mankind in a hardcore match. Now, how the hell we were able to afford Mankind? I mean, come on, the man's medical bills are catastrophic. His medical bills can put this place out of business. They must have that Donald Trump money. And the crowd is excited as hell for the Mind Machine. This man could be the future of this business. And as he runs into the ring all hyped up on sugar, he probably had some, co some cocoa puffs this morning. As he will see taking on a legend in the sport, the hardcore legend, Mick Foley. We'll be going by Mankind today. And here he comes. Mankind, for his huge medical bills. Not even Metro Plus can help him. And he ran, and last week he randomly, he said like he's impressed with my machine, but now he has to randomly hurt him for no apparent reason. Well, because he's Mankind, he doesn't need a reason. He just doesn't. So he randomly challenges the my machine to a hardcore match. This is going to be interesting. I wonder if my machine really understands what he's getting himself into here. This isn't your stat, your average one-on-one -on -one contest, one fall to finish. No. This is a hardcore match. But falls count anywhere. No rules. And Mankind, with a, with a headlock punch, and look at now clubbing blows to the back of the mind machine. And a double axe handle this time, finally able to bring the mind machine down. It's for real. I don't think the mind machine understands exactly... What is he getting into? You know, hardcore match. And also, his opponent is freaking Mick Foley. Mankind. You really think it's going to be easy to g p pin this guy? No. The dude got thrown off the hell in a cell by the Undertaker years ago and lived. This guy has been known to take some of the nastiest falls in the history of our sport. And that covers a lot of ground for me saying that for all the wrestling I watch. But... The mind machine, I don't know if he gets he understands what he's getting into. Oh, what a huge double axe handle by by mankind. One, just to the edge of his forehead just knocked him down. Tried to go for a running shoulder tackle, but didn't really get the whole the whole thing. Mind machine going for like a spinning suplex. Mind machine, you're about to get a lesson in hardcore wrestling. And this is going to be one of the toughest, most painful lessons you'll ever take in your life. Trust me on that one. Now he's got a front face lock and he just did a double chop to the chest. Hardcore match and we haven't seen the weapons as of yet. Even though I know this is really going, you want to really, you know, wear your opponent down a little bit first before start, you start trying to grab the big, the big guns. So our mind machine is trying to keep this as a, as a wrestling match. But I know the crowd is bloodthirsty. This crowd is freaking bloodthirsty. They don't, they don't want to see a wrestling match in this. They want to see guys grab weapons and beat the hell out of each other. And Mankind is dropping knees, dropping elbows. Bulldogs! He's even dropping the Bulldogs! And not the British kind. And what, a, what the hell is standing front dropkick? Wow. I didn't think mixed knees would give him, will allow him to do that. And he knocks the mind machine to the outside of the ring. And now he's just starting doing some damage to the hamstring, to the back of the legs. But now he's outside the ring. My machine is in trouble now. Mick Foley has the advantage here outside the ring. For example, like that shot with the kendo stick. 
He clocked him in the head, and now he's beating him in the, with, in the back with it. Look, he's beating him like a slave. It's horrible. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, no, no. The pulling pile driver on the kendo stick. He gave him a pulling pile driver on the kendo stick. What's Vic doing now? He's going under the ring. What's he grabbing here? He's grabbing a table. We got wood already. It didn't even take 30 seconds. <laughs> My machine's all dazed. He's like lost. He's like, huh? Now he whips the whips mankind into the barricade. He throws him over it. The crowd just patting mankind's back. This gives my machine some time to, you know, short, but gives him time to quickly get take a breather. Just to shake the damn cobwebs out. He's been taking a beating throughout most of his match. And he's dropped him right on his back with that power bomb on the floor. Now he's grabbing a ladder. Now we're going for the big guns already, and he clocked it right under the chin with it. Now he's grabbing. I think he's grabbing another weapon. What is he grabbing now? This time he's got the mop. He's gay. That's Moppy. No, I think I found where Perry Saturn lost to Moppy. My machine has. He just threw it in the ring. Poor Moppy. Now mankind, with the candlestick stick again. He's waiting my machine to get up, and we tried to clock him, but my machine able to counter. And my machine hitting him dead in the ribs. I feel bad for that poor woman. That's just me, my machine. He took that girl's crutch. She probably has a broken leg. Damaged knee or something like that. He just took the crutch. It's not right. Now, just kicking mankind. Get back into the ring. I think a part of his leg hit the ladder. So we got Moppy, a table, and a ladder in the ring. And he's using Moppy. And he, he just slams the, the handle of Moppy right on Mankind's neck. Specifically the back of the neck. The hell's he gonna do with him now? And now he's got the arm bar. He's got the arm bar locked in. He's got it locked in. He's Mankind is in trouble. He's got barely anywhere to go. Oh, he fights out of it. Mankind has a high pain tolerance. And now my machine's got the crossface locked up. And Mankind fights out of that too. Now he's got him in a wrist lock. Arm drag. And now he's picking up the ladder. He's got something dastardly planned here. Planning it in the middle of the ring. I should be in the ladder and he's dazed. Mankind is dazed on a flapjack. And he lands face first on the ladder. Go for the cover, dude. I think you got him right here. Now he's, now he's positioning the ladder on the turnbuckle. He's gonna do it in the net. He gave it, once again, just power bombing him. Just dropping him head first. Now he's going up to the top rope. Oh, wait, never mind. Now he's going outside. Who's he grabbing now? This, what the hell? He just grabbed the steel steps this time. We got steel now involved in this matchup. Steel. 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 He's got steel. Now he's gaining the sleeper slam. Flashback if you want to go all technical on me. Getting some distance. And dropping his knee right in the face. But I don't think it'll probably do much since Van Mick Foley has that protected mask. But now he's positioning the table on the opposite end? What is he doing here? What is he planning? Well now Mankind's got Moppy. Damn, he beamed him in the head with Moppy. Now he's beating them. He's beating them with Moppy. Where's he gonna go now? He looks Mick Foley, Mick Foley looks confused. And he just rams it right in the back of his head. The crowd's chanting, this is awesome. I don't blame him. This really is awesome. Come on, it's a hardcore match. And this could be it. One, two, and no. My machine, you could you should have just stayed down. Live the fight another day. And mankind with a vertical suplex. Or souple, if you want to really get, you know, old school and technical on me. What's going to do to that? And now Mankind, Elmo, Russian leg sweep. Oh no, he's going into his pants. Oh my god, he's pointing down. He's gonna, is he going to pull it out? Please tell me, dude. Come on. Where are the sensors when you need them? 
He's got Mr. Socko out of his dirty boxers, and now he's just shoving him right in the mind machine's throat. He's gonna have to bathe his mouth in Listerine and bleach. Two. No. No, mind machine, for real. Don't talk to any girls after the show. You need to bathe your mouth in Listerine and in bleach. Back chop. A kick to the gut. And it makes mankind trip on the lap. I guess mankind is honestly unaware of the lap. Or should I say steel steps? My bad. Now he's picking up now. And picking him up. And he's going right for a modified stunner. Man, my machine, he's hype right now. And he's bringing, yeah, he's going to bring the steel steps back in. Oh, wait, oh, oh no. Mick's got the steel steps now. Wait, my machine snatching the steel steps? He's like, nope, this is mine. And he just hits him face first with the steel steps. And he just throws it down. He's like, I don't need this crap anymore. He beams him with it. And man, and my machine! Catching him with the 16-6! The latest one! One, two, no! Mankind get, got up from the 16-6. I cannot believe that. And my machine, he's gonna need a new strategy, a new plan here. He's, a, he's not panicking, I gotta give him that. Just set the table up. A time drop there by Mick Foley. Mankind, he's grabbing the ladder now. What's he gonna do now? He's like, screw the ladder, I don't want it. And a suicide dive, and I think that hurt my machine more than that hurt Mick. His leg hit the steel steps and his face hit the ladder. Now they're just brawling it out outside the ring. Oh my god, double, double arm bulldog right on the steel steps. Oh no, no, double arm DDT right on the right on the floor, right on the unforgiving floor. And now Mankind's like, never mind. I want, I do want the ladder. So he, so he brings it back in. My machine is hurt. My machine is pretty beaten up. What's Mankind gonna do here? He's sending the ladder up now. Mankind's thinking about something. He's like, hold on, let me reposition this. He's like, okay, there we go. Oh, he was going. Oh my God, he's going to his pants again. Oh no, no, please, no. I mean, my machine needs to be embarrassed and humiliated. And here we go. They're climbing the ladder, despite the fact there's nothing hanging up there. European uh, uppercut. Now they're just coming, coming the blows. They're giving each other punch for punch. Here. Serious punches. Vicious punches. Now he's dodging weight. Mankind, elbow, face first to the ladder. My machine dazed. Now he's delivering more uppercuts. Now he rains, rains right in the ladder and he chopped him. He jumps down. Wait a minute. He knocked, he's pushing the ladder. He fell through a table. Oh God. He put him through the table. This could be it. The one, the two, the three. He did it. My machine somehow came apart every insurmountable odd and won. He was victorious. And it was glorious. Meanwhile, as he goes through the replays, Mankind is literally beating the crap out of the mind machine. I mean, come on, look at this double arm bulldog right here. Watch. Right into the steel steps. Yeah, I thought Dippin' Speak was going to be right here when he gave that double arm DDT on the floor. And this is where it ended. He got Mick Foley dazed. He pushes the ladder, making him put himself through a team. What a victory here for the Mind Machine. He'd be a legend. I'm telling you, man, this guy has a future here in this industry. He can do it. The Mind Machine is every damn reason to be proud right now. Every damn reason. Well, anyway, guys, we're almost done here. We have we have our main event coming up next, as Blaine will be taking on.